welcome everyone. Thank you for coming. Um, this is the grand opening of the University to Downtown Bikeway, and we have ordered the weather special for this. So thank you all for being hardcore and coming out. I really appreciate that. Um, we're going to have just a few brief words from Salt Lake City, the University of Utah, and the East Central Community Council. And uh, then we'll invite the people who are really hardcore to join us on a bike ride along the University of Downtown Bikeway going from the U to downtown, which is the easy way to do it. Um, so and with that, I will introduce Vicki Bennett, who is the Salt Lake City uh, Director of Sustainability. <laughs> Thanks, Becca. And, and for the real hardcores, you get to ride back up. How's that? <laughs> but, <laughs> So I just get to go through a little few of the details of the project for those of you who have been watching but you know haven't been as involved. And the project's great. It's a simple paint-only bikeway connecting our two primary destinations in the city, the university and downtown. And the challenge has always been what to do about the big hill. And again, the hardcores have got it made. The people who aren't quite so hardcore have been looking for other ways up and down. And so in keeping with Salt Lake City's feel and, you know, the fact that we're a ski city, the lake, there are now three possible routes which have green, blue, and black diamond signs, just like you were on a ski slope. So, you know, what could be more comfortable and something we feel really, you know, happy seeing? You know? So, you know, the route's really going to be part of all of our new bikeways and it connects to the third south bike lanes can get to Sugar House via 6th East and to the West going on 2nd West, the Nine Line Trail, the Glendale, and then all the way on North Temple to Fair Park. So this has been identified way back since 2011. We've gone through a lot of public input, worked with the bicycle, Pedestrian Bicycle Master Plan, and really worked a lot to figure out how to get this route. We feel like there's been a lot of community support. We really ha ask, you know, are happy with everyone's input and thank everyone for what they've provided. Got to give a shout out to Roger Bargnick. Roger, raise your hand. He's the one who came up with the ski sign idea, and you know, it just really labels it as something that's that's Salt Lake City and Utah specific. And, you know, on a larger basis, a lot of you may be aware of Salt Lake City's larger goals. We have our Climate Positive 2040 plan. This is online for anyone who is uh, interested in details. If someone really fights me for it, I have this one copy here. We're trying to be sustainable and not print too many. But this is one of the ways we're going to meet our carbon reduction goals. And the main one is our 80% reduction in community greenhouse gas footprint by 2040. And we're not going to get there unless we have a shift in transportation and create more bikeways like this one. Bikeways which are going to connect various hubs of our community and make it easy for people to bike to get to their next engagement. Helping people get out of their cars and onto bikes is critical for reducing carbon emissions that come for transportation, even on rainy days. So. I'd like to now introduce one of our other local community innovators and leaders, the Chief Sustainability Officer for the University of Utah, Amy Wildermuth. All right, thank you everybody for being here today, whatever the weather. I am always happy to celebrate our partnership with the community and with our good friends in Salt Lake City. I want to especially thank Vicki and her team, as well as Salt Lake City's uh, many uh, folks who have worked on this project. They have worked for, with us so often on these important sustainability projects. It is a relationship we are fortunate to have, and we will continue to do everything we can to help it grow and be stronger. Our goal at the University of Utah is simple. We want to be a model for what is possible. We know today that the U is one of the primary bike commuter destinations in the state. Since 2005, Biking to campus has increased over 40%. Each day, approximately 40% of the campus population arrives by means other than driving alone. The university has achieved silver level bicycle friendly university certification 
to match the city's silver level bicycle friendly community status and we were a primary funding partner for the bikeway project we celebrate today. That though is not good enough. We need to transform the campus and I mean the whole campus from where we are standing today to the health sciences and hospital to research park so that it is easy to get to and easy to get around both walking and riding. To take a place that we, was designed as the U was for you to drive your car to each discrete building, get back in your car and drive to the next building and make it what we think it can be, a place where people want to walk or ride is going to take time and planning. I've been told at least once that it will take at least 10 years to transform, but I'm famously impatient. So in partnership with others around the university who also saw this as critical, we funded and were able to hire a full-time active transportation manager, Ginger Cannon, who I thank for all her work on this event, and I want her to make sure she's, wait, there she is back in the back, wave, yay Ginger. Um, she's already demonstrated that she is an agent for change. Get ready to see a lot of Ginger. We know that the majority of single occupant vehicle trips to campus are taken by staff and undergraduate students. And we are working to target these populations to increase bicycling mode share. Recently, we opened a campus bicycle shop to serve daily commuters as well as those living on campus. You can see all the campus bike facilities, including parking, repair stations, and routes on our interactive online map at utah.edu. I'm sorry, at map.utah.edu. In addition, Ginger, along with all of those partners I mentioned before, will be leading the expansion of biking and walking facilities and programs, including capital improvement projects to fundamentally redesign the interior paths at the U. We are focused on creating a campus that is easy to get around because it was designed intentionally for those riding and walking. This means we need wider paths that lead to somewhere, not to dead ends, better design for speed control and navigability, paths that make sense for where people are trying to go and are well marked with wayfinding. Opportunities also exist to extend bike routes through the campus so that they better connect routes to one another and tie the campus to external bike facilities on city and county owned roadways. We are also actively partnering with the city and other agencies to increase life safety for pedestrians and bicyclists through the redesign of surrounding campus roads like Mario Capecchi Drive and Foothill Drive. On top of all this, we want riding a bike and walking around campus to be, dare I say it, fun. <laughs> we want it to feel like a treat the days you get to hop on your bike and come to campus. And we want those days to be more than the days you hop in your car. So we have a big job ahead of us and you should expect much from us. Biking is very important, as Vicki mentioned, for its contribution to our wellness and for its help in bettering our air quality and reducing our carbon footprint. Like the city, we at the University of Utah are committed to sustainable transportation through our sustainability action plan. And I want everybody to hear this. We remain committed to climate neutrality by 2050. And let me assure you, unlike others in this realm, we keep our commitments, climate and otherwise. Thank you again for joining us today. Thanks for all, to all of you who made this possible. And thanks to all the efforts that put this pathway in place, which serves as a shining example and model for what we will do in the years to come. Thank you so much. Now I'm gonna turn it over to Esther from the Community Council. Hi. I don't admit this very often, but I didn't really learn to ride bikes when I was little. So I really was one of the people in the neighborhood, even though I'm chair of the community, to actually not be too excited about what was about to happen. Next to the university, the community often feels like we are a small little group that has not much to say between downtown and the U, depending on what's all happening. But when the project began, it was not just me, it was actually the community as a whole that really was not very positive. Pretty much a negative 10. Now, not so much as pitchforks, but it was not a positive thing. The bike riders, of course, were excited. But 
Often with city projects, you hear words like community involvement, transparency, collaboration. But in this case, those words are actually real. This bike lane is more. What makes this bike lane so magical is that on this project, in the last several years, every single idea, every single objection, not only was listened to, but was incorporated or mitigated. And that is due to Becca. Everything from parking to sewer runover to little ones to pedestrian safety improvements that were made. We have newbies like me, all considered. We have the elderly, we have the students, we have everyone who is trying to ride the bike and all of the good sustainability goals that we're all trying to care about really became real. The community involvement process was a true collaboration. That included everyone, not only with surveys and work groups and committees, but even a sitting down with every single neighbor that possibly had an objection and what we might be able to do to solve that in a positive way. And that is really something. Whether an expert or a newbie, young or old, you can ride a little, you can ride a lot. This lane has it all. This lane brought us together. The best in us, the best of the human spirit, is made us a real team. It shows what's possible. So it's much more than just a bit of paint and some emissions that we're all going to improve in the future. It is something that really brought together the community, the university, and the city in a project that was outstanding. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Esther, Amy, and Vicki. Um, we are uh, pretty much set to ride. I did want to invite everyone here to uh, pick up a couple publications while you're here. One is the uh, Bikeways map. This is available along with the refreshments under the tent. Uh, and this is a combination city and county bike map for the first time in a decade or more uh, combined map. So pick one of these up if you haven't already gotten one. And then we also have a special publication specific to this project, the University of Downtown Bikeway. I have copies of these. They're also under the tent, but I'm going to hand them around. And I wanted to give credit and a shout out to Braley Bullard, who is an intern working with Salt Lake City Transportation, designed this publication for us. And she has now taken a position working full time with the city in our civic engagement office. Um, also, uh, there are spoke cards for on the fun factor. If you haven't picked one of these up, bike to the use spoke cards. Uh, I'm going to say just a couple things about the ride for those who are going on the ride. The super hardcore people are riding. Yes, yes. Okay, and uh, thanks also to I think we have a couple officers from the university police who will be joining us. Um, we're going to ride uh, down on the green route, so the easiest way down, which is good because sometimes brakes don't work quite as well in the rain. Yes. Um, we are going to follow rules of the road, uh, including riding on the right, using the bike lanes where they are provided, uh, respecting traffic signals and stop signs, and we will be making each making our own decision at the stop sign, so don't like just follow the leader. Um, everyone's going to be following the rules of the road. If we get significantly split up, we'll stop and wait for everyone, but I think we'll probably be able to stay together. Um, so I think that's with, uh, with that, I'll say let's, uh, those who are riding, grab your bikes and let's get ready to go and we'll, we'll ride.